While the words mechanical engineering conjures images of cars and other forms of transport, many of our researchers are focused on movements inside the human body. Mechanical engineering gives us a way to understand systems about how they operate. And that can be simple systems such as cars, as complex as we think that they are. Human body is a much more complex system. Living tissue needs to be provided by oxygen, nutrients, and you need to take away the products of metabolism. This is transport. So in mechanical engineering, there is great expertise in terms of both computational modeling, but also in terms of experimental and in vitro testing. So we work together with different colleagues to exploit the information and the tools and skills that they have there. This is an area where we can make impact directly on one of the biggest killers of mankind, which is cardiovascular disease. My research focuses on microscale blood flows, what we are trying to achieve with this research is firstly to understand how blood flows in um, diseases such as diabetes, sickle cell or malaria. So we are trying to make sensors uh, that can help clinicians monitor physiological activities. And the first application of these sensors is to attach them externally to a uh, human body and then use them to monitor physiological activities which are directly related to cardiovascular function. And the second application is to put these sensors on implants, which are used to treat cardiovascular diseases. This is a, a novel valve that we have recently designed and developed here in, uh, in our lab, which is uh, an artificial heart valve suitable for transcatheter implantation. We can take a valve, we can collapse it into a delivery system, as small as this one, and uh, insert it through the endovascular system so it can be released into the body, avoiding all the risks associated with open heart surgery. We work in hospitals taking measurements from right inside people's hearts, and we use techniques like mental arithmetic and movie clips to stress them out. And then we can measure exactly the effect of those stresses on the heart. When your heart is, which is a, 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 a electromechanical pump, is beating too fast to uh, pump blood, and that can lead to a sudden cardiac death. We hope that the results of this work will improve the performance of pacemakers and implanted cardioverted defibrillators. I'm a roboticist and I'm looking for application in cardiovascular surgery that can potentially benefit from robotics and also artificial intelligence. We develop collaborative catheters that can be inserted on both sides of the groins into the femoral arteries and inside the abdominal aorta these catheters merge and carry out suturing tasks to suture endovascular stent grafts into the abdominal aorta. I go to uh, see procedures, I collect data there and discuss with uh, uh, cardiologists to find a way to use uh, engineering and data science uh, to improve the way in which we are treating uh, patients.